the Bay Arena in Leverkusen was anything but a winter wonderland. Snow falls, temperatures just above freezing, anything but perfect conditions for the Rhine derby. By Leverkusen, the coach Jupp Heynckes against FC Cologne. Two cities that border on each other, so of course no love lost between the two. Leverkusen in the black strip with the red facings and of course hoping for Champions League soccer next season. They are fourth in the table. That was Patrick Helmers with the first chance of the afternoon on just six minutes. Leverkusen doing well this season. Frank Schaefer, the new coach of Cologne, side next to the bottom, 17th. Only two points ahead of Borussia Mönchengladbach. And with a terrible record in Leverkusen, no win since May 1990. That was Tranquilo Barnetta going close, but not close enough to trouble forward Mondragon. 21 minutes played. Leverkusen slightly in the ascendancy. The Cologne defence looking anything but secure. Farad Mondragon could only parry the shot and on hand was Patrick Helmers scoring against his former club. Great footwork from Renato Augusto. There was no offside because Pazzoni was strolling back. Mondragon complains that Helmers was offside. Not so. The goal stands. Helmers scoring against the club used to play for just six minutes later though a glorious free kick and Cologne a level Pedro Jeromel with the most illustrious goal it was a superb free kick floated over in great style from Podolski but converting it required enormous skill once again in slow motion watch Jeromel takes it glides it in off the post no chance at all for Rene Adler in goal for Leverkusen Jeromel's second goal of the season and Cologne back on level terms and at this point it was no more than they deserved 40 minutes gone Cologne playing with renewed confidence good shot not quite the power in his right foot that Podolski has in his left, but it brought a good save nevertheless, considering the slippery conditions out of Adler. The Cologne board looking for a new manager after Meyer was sacked. In the second half, the players, the Cologne side, hoping maybe that they could inspire a new manager to take over. But it was Leverkusen on 55 minutes who looked far more dangerous. It was a Cologne lapse in defence. Nobody was tracking Barnetta back from midfield. And the Swiss international scored his second goal of the season to put Leverkusen 2-1 up. Just look at how much time and space Barnetta has. Picks his spot, no chance at all for Mondragon in goal for Cologne. Four minutes later, a controversial decision by the referee's assistant. That's Lucas Podolski. He worked like a beaver all afternoon. Pulls the ball back. The ball's beaten out by Adler. Podolski thrashes it in the back of the net, but the referee, Dr. Brich, the lawyer from Munich, disallows it on the basis of his assistant's decision. Let's look again in slow motion. Podolski is level. Cologne robbed of the equaliser. Michel Balak manages a smile. No wonder he plays for Leverkusen. Well, when he's not injured, that is. And then doom for Cologne. The ball coming off the bar. Nodded home by Stefan Reinertz. That was only two minutes after Podolski's goal was disallowed. Stefan Reinertz brought from Nuremberg, where he'd been on loan. His first goal of the season by a 3-1 in the lead. Was that the end of the afternoon for Cologne? 
It says a lot for the side's character that they threw everything at Leverkusen. Martin Larnig was brought on by Schaefer, replacing Petzoni, and it proved an inspired substitution. Only a minute later, Podolski threads it through into the path of Martin Larnig. Great control. Larnig returning to the side after missing last week's draw with Wolfsburg, where he was banned after his fifth yellow card. Showing superb control, but once again, Podolski at the heart of everything for Cologne. Good control, and really Simon Rolfus, as we see in slow motion now, not putting enough pressure on Larnig. 3-2, Cologne back in the game to the delight of Frank Schaefer. Then just another minute later, Larnig, he could have had his name in lights in Cologne. Eret crosses it over and somehow from two strides out, Martin Larnig turns from hero to villain. How on earth did he miss that one? That would have been the equaliser. Now, as time ebbed away, it was desperation stakes for Cologne. A long-range effort from substitute Ionita. You can never hope to beat René Adler. Germany's number two goalkeeper from that distance. And that's something that Larnig was also to try. Now just five minutes to go, Larnig a good 20 metres or more outside the area. Cologne now running out of ideas. And that really was the last bit of action. Leverkusen a little lucky to triumph. Cologne can hold their heads up high even though they went down by three goals to two.